She's there already. Uh -huh. Are you there? Hello, students. Welcome once again. Today is a good Tuesday morning. And um, even though we are coming up a bit late because of our network, we're here for PED 233. PED 233 is a course for 200 level students, primary education. We've been doing this course for some time. The classes have been going on for some time now. And uh, we have to restart it all over because of um, yeah. So today, our PED 233, which is religion and moral education. Religion and moral education. I hope you have your pen and paper and get ready to write some things. My name is Dr. Angela Abba. I've been your facilitator for this course. Our topic for today is um, a look at the senior secondary school syllabus as prepared by West African Examination Council. We are taking a look at the senior secondary school syllabus of religious studies as prepared by West African Examination Council, WAEC. Remember that WAEC is West African Examination Council. Um, we're also going to look at the critique of these religious studies, how it has been criticized, how the syllabus have been criticized. And when we're talking about religious studies, you will have at the back of your mind that we're talking about um, the Christian religious studies, and of course, the Islamic religious studies. The Christian religious studies and uh, the Islamic religious studies. Um, we are expecting that by the end of this lesson, our students should be able to, one, list the intended themes from the Old Testament our students are supposed to list, be able to list all the themes from the Old Testament, the themes from the Synoptic Gospel, John and As of the Apostles, and the themes from selected epistles, the selected epistles. We are expecting by the end of this lesson, our students should be able to list out the themes from OT, OT is Old Testament, the themes from the Synoptic Gospel, John, and of course, uh, As of the Apostles, and finally, the themes from the selected epistles. And also, we'll be able to have a critical look at our religious studies, both the Christian religious studies and the Islamic religious studies. Well, we're going to start by looking at the makeup of the religious studies. The religious studies themes is divided into sorry, the sessions are in three. Religious studies syllables according to West African Examination Council is divided into three. We have section A, we have section B, and we have section C. These are the sections of the syllabus of Christian religion. Three sessions. And section one, which is A, have 18 themes, 18. 
Section A. And the Section A is drawn from the Old Testament. OT. Section A is drawn from all, all the things in Section A. From, uh, Old Testament. OT. Remember that the short form for Old Testament is OT. Some things can come out in the sun. And uh, for section B, section B has 17 teams. 17 teams, 17. Section A has 18. Section B has 17 teams. And those 17 teams are drawn from the synoptic gospel, John, and the acts of the apostles. 17 teams. Section B. Some of them drawn from the Synoptic Gospels, some drawn from John, and some from the Acts of the Apostles. There are 17 in number. Then we have the Section C. Section C is also 18 teams in all. 18 teams in all. And the teams are drawn from the selected epistles. Selected epistles. Remember, we are still in Christian religious studies. I have said that section A, they are divided into three sections. Section A, remember, is 18. 18 teams in number. And the teams are drawn from the Old Testament. One of the teams is the sovereignty of God. That is section A. One of the teams is the sovereignty of God. Because you know the sovereignty of God means as God, they add God as the creator of the universe. God, the creator of the universe. B of it is God, the controller of the universe. Looking at God as controller of the universe. I know you have this model. We're not going to dwell completely in reading them out like that completely. 18 of them, session A. Leave you to also after the class within the week before we have our next lesson. Go back to your model and look at it from page 27 and then form the rest of the team. For instance, session A, which I have told you is made up of 18 teams. I've given you only two, two out of it. We're going to write out the 16 of the rest to make up the 18. You know what I mean. We're going to look at that B. B. Remember that section B. Section B is 17 in number. 17. 17 teams. This They are drawn from the Synoptic Gospels. Synoptic Gospel and the Acts of the Apostles. And Acts of the Apostles. The first theme is the birth of Christ. The birth, birth of Christ. The second one is the baptism and temptation of Jesus Christ. And the rest, the theme. I'm also going to ask you within the week to search for the other 15 things. Read it up. It's there in your model. And by the time you read it, you're also going to post them to your forum, put them to your site so that we'll see how far you have gone and your colleagues can also look at them. Like all that I'm talking to you now is posted in your site. If you look at 
the site, as I'm also telling my story, you will see that. And uh, section C of this Christian religious syllabus is 18 in number. 18 in number. The first thing there is justification by faith. Justification by faith. We have law, the law and grace. The law and grace. As it's about the second thing of section C, our section C. I'm also going to ask you to go back to your um, model after the class so that you can read up the other 16 following 16 things, the rest of the 16. Touch them out. Your exams are coming soon so that you'll be able to answer any questions that will come out from them. And I hope you are doing your TNAs. Now we're going to look at um, the critic of religious studies. Remember that religious studies is made up of Christian religious studies and Islamic religious studies. And we're going to look at all this. When we finish with the Christian religious studies, we look at the Christian and um, Islamic religious studies. And we're looking at the critic. It has been criticized. We're going to also see how these religious studies, the syllabus has been criticized. The syllabus we are drawn by West African Examination Council. WAEC. We've been able to tell you the syllabus, how they are divided. We're going to look at the critic, the critic of religious studies education at the secondary school level. Now, the arrangement of the Christian religious studies is divided into is divided. They are saying that the arrangement is designed to test the candidate's knowledge and understanding of the selected themes. Remember those themes that were selected, section A, section B, and section C. I are saying that the critics about this Christian religious study, that the arrangement is designed to test the candidate's knowledge and understanding of the selected themes, running through most of the books of Old Testament and, of course, the New Testament. As the first critic. The next one is that the relevant Bible passages we are selected for each of these themes. Remember your three sessions. Session A, which is made up of 18 themes. Section B, which is made up of 17 things. And of course, the section C, which is made up of 18 things. I've listed to you some of the themes, which I have also asked you to go back to your model and search out for the rest of the themes, which I can't not within this class size period, to list all of them. Yeah. And the next critic of the religious studies, you know, Christian religious studies, is that an order was maintained in the syllabus, was you know, going like that, to flow sequentially from year one to year four. From year one, this is what the team, these are the teams that I expected, that I thought that you are expected to learn. Year two, these are the things you are expected to learn. Year three, like that, it was in order. And uh, <laughs> the actual selection of the Bible passages is more thematic than strictly chronological. Thematic in the sense that remember that I'm um, out of the three sessions, they are formed in teams. It wasn't as if you're just within 
the Bible. The Christians among you, you just read the after Genesis or Revelation, the after Genesis, the next the, uh, Exodus, and you know it's not what chronological like that. It was just in things, they were formed in things. For session A, for instance, you have Old Testament. They were drawn from the Old Testament. And in session B, they were drawn in synoptic gospels from John and from the as of the apostles. It was not just chronological, like A, B, C, D, E, you know, like that. That's what uh, CD. And for the senior secondary school syllabus, it is detailed the presentation of a spiral curriculum. That is, it consists of a widening or concentric horizon. So that is it. And then the content is arranged in such a way that what is learned at each stage is built up at the next higher stage. But simple, or known to unknown. You see, it didn't just mean to, you know, take you like that, like that. What you learn to be one, according to uh, syllabus, is built upon in year two and in year three, you know, taking you from what you know already. From the known, what we are yet to know, which is the unknown, it goes like that, the critic. And of course, the Christian religious studies uses the Bible, especially the Reverse Standard, as their main source of material. So, looking at the Christian, the syllabus of the religious study it doesn't just use any and any version of the Bible, it uses only the reverse standard uh, session. The revised standard. The revised standard is the main material. So that you don't just bring any and any version of the Bible to say, okay, let me, I'm reading, prepare it for my uh, school. So if you are looking at my screen, uh, we are on critic of the so, and then we are soon going into the Islamic religious studies. Okay. The syllabus is also found to be appropriate. The syllabus of the Christian religious studies is also found to be appropriate as it is arranged to achieve the ends and objectives of the subject, as well as achieving the incorporation of national consciousness and national unity, the right type of values and attitudes expected of some students, of our students in our society. It is capable of promoting morality among the learners. It's said to be capable of promoting morality among the learners. Remember that our course is religion and moral education. Religion and moral education. Two, three, three. And we are talking about the senior secondary school syllabus as prepared by West African Examination Council. And we're looking at how the syllabus has been criticized. We're also going to look at how Islamic, uh, Islamic religious studies is criticized. I'm sharing my screen already. What you don't catch up, you'll also see it on the screen. I hope you're making your notes. Also, have been looking at a critic of the Islamic religious studies at the secondary school level. Remember that IRS is Islamic, the short form for Islamic religious studies. Islamic religious studies. You can be asked in your TNA or in 
in your exams, what is the full meaning of Islamic or uh, IRS, which is Islamic Religious Studies. And then uh, I wish to recognize Abiyadu Lawa and Ngo for joining the class. You have done well. And I hope you are taking your notes. While we're expecting other students to join us, we are talking about the critique of Islamic religious studies at secondary school level. Dr. Lawa, you're welcome. And then Ngo welcome you to the class. That's good. We're looking at the content. They are saying that the contents are selected. Please mute your mic so that you don't distract others. The contents were selected to provide important information to students. That is for Islamic religious studies. The contents we are selected provide important information to the students. And that the contents of this syllabus, the teams, will enhance the students' relationship with their fellow men, as well as with Allah, their people. I have chosen these teams of the Islamic religious studies, the syllabus, to enhance the student's relationship with one another, the student relationship with their community, with the society, and also to enhance their relationship with Allah, the Supreme Being. Another critic of the Islamic religious studies syllabus at the secondary school level is that one of the problems noticed with this syllabus is that the number of periods allocated to it is grossly inadequate. So the syllabus has been criticized and it said that more allocation is supposed to be given. Assuming that the thing is done once or twice a week, people are voting that more periods should be allocated to it so that it will cover up, to invite the students to cover up. That is one of the critics that one of the problems noticed with Islamic religious studies, the number of periods is mostly inadequate more periods supposed to be allocated to it. Also, these religious studies cannot be taught or handled, that is Islamic religious studies, cannot be taught or handled by anybody at all who is not a specialist in the subject. So we are saying that, that the thing is not taught by any person like anybody can just study it, you know, and come and that um, it has to be handled by a specialist. The syllabus is also is always being handled by a specialist. You know, and any person can come out and teach. Okay. Um, also, the syllabus fails to assign specific roles to the students in the classroom. It is expected that when the students, you know, finish with anything, they can be asked, now, do this as classwork, do it, let's see, so that the teacher can use that to assess the student. So one of the critics is that the syllabus first to assign specific rules to students in classroom. So that next uh, time the curriculum is being 
that has to be implemented. Again, the teaching materials to be used for students' understanding, they are not indicated in the syllabus. The teaching material is not indicated. Like you have um, your studies, you know, you may notice that you use only the advanced standard of the Bible because every there are so many versions of the Bible. The Christian religious studies uses only the revised standard version. We are also saying it is expected that Islamic religious studies should also give the student the standard teaching material, which version of the Islamic religious you know, uh, material should be used. That's what we are saying. Another critic of the Christian and um, the Islamic religious studies syllabus is that the syllabus for the senior secondary school is not into yearly. It's not divided into yearly affair and timely basis. So just a continuous thing like that. So that if you divide it into family, the student will concentrate on see these are the things we are discussing for this time. So that next time they will enter, they will know by implication that the, this is where we are concentrated. And after that year, for instance, year two, we are going into this session. That's what it means. And finally. They are saying that the syllabus must not be frequently changed. That the syllabus must not be frequently changed. This syllabus we are prepared by West African Examination Council, WIEC, and uh, these are the critics we have so far. We go to the model. Of the religion and moral education, religion and moral education. Look at page 27, reading down to page 32. You will discover all that we have said and you will read more of it. Please remember to share your notes on your discussion form when you read up. You can also come up with some suggestions. That is why we are here to learn. Learning, remember, is a continuous process. The moment it starts from the cradle, can only end at the grave. Continuous, it doesn't stop. You continue to build on what you know. And you learn new skills, you learn every day. We are talking about religion, morals, moral education. To evaluate on what we have said before. Remember, we've been talking about the senior secondary school syllabus as prepared by West African Examination Council. Was the short form for West African Examination Council? WAEC, 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 West African Examination Council. And then we also they took a look at the critic of these religious schools at the secondary school level. Remember the assignment I gave you when I told you that the syllabus of Christian religious studies divided into three sections, section A, section B, and section C. And these sections are further drawn into syllabus. For instance, syllabus section A, the, the themes are drawn from the Old Testament. From the OT, OT stands for Old Testament. Please take note of these concepts because many of them may be coming out for you in exam. 
and all these small things, you don't overlook them because <laughs> anyone you take for granted, I think the one that will come out in the exam. And the session A, B, C, session A, remember we said the, twin, the teams are drawn from uh, the Old Testament, OT, and there are how many in number? 18. 18 in number. There are 18 in number. That is 18 teams ranging from, from the 18 team session A. You have the sovereign of God. If you don't use your phone, I will mute you. You will not be able to join us again. Please don't disturb the class. The second one is God, the controller of the universe. Session A, sovereignty of God. Under that team, you have a God, the controller, God, the creator, God, the controller of the universe, the covenant, God, the controller of the universe, and the rest of them. Covenant, the leadership, and the rest, which I have asked you to go and read. Section B, the team is drawn from the synoptic gospel, John, and the Acts of the Apostles, and there are 17 in number. 17 in number. The first team is John, like you have the birth of Jesus Christ, the birth of Jesus Christ, the baptism, and the temptation. The second one is the discipleship, you have the miracles, you have the parables, and the rest. Which I have absolutely to go and list. I'd like to see them willing to be before our next class on Saturday by five to six. Next, our next, our uh, next lesson is Saturday by five to six p.m. I'd like to see them posted on your discussion forum on your site so that we can critically look at them. You have the right to enter your site at any time. So you can get used to this thing. Your 100 level, your 200 level, you started this online thing. This so please get used to them. So many of your students will not join the class there, but they are yet to enter their e-learning. And you that is here, I want to congratulate you. Remember the second session of that is the team it's drawn from synoptic gospel, John and as of the apostles. And we have said that number 17 in number. I keep repeating these things so that you will catch them very easily. In the third session, section C, the teams from selected epistles. The teams from selected epistles. Teams from selected epistles. And then some of these ones are justification by faith, law and grace. You have under law and grace, you have the purpose and significance of God. We like that. Jesus is our God, and the rest of them. Study. We are going according to the syllabus as prepared by the West African Examination Like we have remember that under religious studies, we have the Christian religious studies and the Islamic religious studies. The choice is yours. In secondary school, children in secondary school, either they choose to do the Christian religious studies or they choose to do the Islamic religious studies by choice. Faith is also by choice. That's what we are saying. And the 
is a syllable sound from side, and uh, the criticism is subject to adjustment. Right? When the things are being planned, the curriculum plan, based on this criticism, they can adjust or even remove some, something. And then uh, I think uh, so far so good. We are waiting to see other our colleagues join us. Join us. We should continue to let me take you back to the screen and share and share them and from our first screen. The screen you see on the on your screen there, you see. The second is by Wayne and also the of the year studies secondary school level. The second thing is screen is the intended outcomes, which I ask you to list tips from the Old Testament, which is the first session, themes from Synoptic Gospel. The second session of the Christian Religious Studies and teams from selected episodes. The needs I shared in trying to get them. The, uh, let's go to number three, number four, or number four. Sorry. Funny. Yes. Critic of the Christian religious, if you see them on your screen. And of course, the critic about Islamic religious studies. I wish to acknowledge Ekno Kova as our next colleague that has joined us. These things are organized for you. So within this size period, we're supposed to have gained one thing or the other. I acknowledge those of you that have joined the class, and I hope to see more of you during our next class on Saturday. Oh, some of you are waiting at See if I can admit some of them. Uh, I've admitted some other of your colleagues, and uh, we know they are coming late. And I hope to see them again on Saturday. Saturday at five to six p.m. And until then. It's a pleasure having you. My name is Dr. Andrew Abba, your facilitator. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Yes, and I do. And I Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, darling. See you then. Bye. Bye. Okay, Ma. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.